Hey guys, I'm Nick. And I'm Rachel. And this week on The Great Adventure, we are going to be sharing our six-month quarterly update with you regarding our finances for full-time RV living. We've done uh, one previous video that recapped our first three months, but in this one, we're going to recap what the total expenses were for the last six months, but then go into detail as to what our expenses were for the last quarter. So with that, I want to kind of highlight that these numbers are actually going to be the actual numbers that we spend each and every month. We document all of our expenses and track them with an app called Wallet. And every time we go to the store and buy something or go to a restaurant, we put those numbers into the application so that we know exactly where our money is going. So there's other videos out there that kind of give you a general idea of, you know, what it costs to live full time on the road or give you what their budgets are and kind of, you know, if they hit their budget or don't hit their budget. We are actually giving you the exact numbers that we are spending each and every month. And of course, everyone lives a little bit differently, so this isn't gonna be exactly what you might spend if you're gonna be living on the road, but it should hopefully give you a good sense of where the money is actually going every month for us. Yep, and also keep in mind that we are traveling to see the country. Um, some people are traveling specifically to save money, um, and we're not trying to live extravagantly, but we are trying to see the national parks and cities and get out and explore. Um, so for us, it's not that we're trying to spend the very, very least amount of money. Um, we probably could spend less, we could adjust some things, but for us, we want to see specific areas um, and certain sites. So that's just so you have an idea of that's how we are living while we travel. Yeah, and we also don't have any vehicle payments or payments on our travel trailer. We paid cash for both when we purchased them. The trailer we're living in is an older 2004 travel trailer that we renovated and paid cash for all of the renovations. So that is saving us money every single month since we don't have payments for that and not having a vehicle payment as well. So mm -hmm. that probably saves us probably five to eight hundred dollars depending on a month uh, depending on what vehicle you might purchase or if you're looking to have payments while living on the road as well. Mm -hmm. And we also don't have health insurance payments. Um, we have insurance through the marketplace and we don't have any deductibles, we don't have any monthly payments, which is absolutely fantastic, but we know that that is not the case for most people. So that is um, an expense that a lot of people do have that we're fortunate not to have. Yeah, so with that, out of the way, uh, we're gonna jump in and give you a recap of six months. Yep. Take it away. Yeah, so in the last six months, we'll give you the exact numbers. So six months full-time on the road, we have spent $17,071.20. Um, and so with that, we have spent 38 nights free camping. So boondocking somewhere, dry camping in someone's driveway, maybe. Staying at friends' houses yep. a lot. So 38 nights of free camping and 86 nights of paid camping, um, just regular campground camping. Um, but we've also spent 54 nights in the Thousand Trails system. Um, and if you'd like to know more about the Thousand Trails program and our first um, impressions of it, we have a video for that as well. And so for Q2, here's the highlight numbers. Uh, we spent a total of $9,371.62 with 21 nights of free camping, 36 nights of paid camping, and then also 36 nights of Thousand Trails. And then to break those down by the categories, that is 30.4% 30 on food, which includes groceries and eating out, and then 24% on vehicle expenses, mainly gas and then maintenance as well. 18.4% mm -hmm. um, is housing, which is campgrounds, and we also put our laundry in there and um, propane, so that's our housing expenses. 10.9% um, for shopping. Um, and that's clothes, just general, general shopping. shopping. Yeah. Um, life and entertainment, only 7%. We find free stuff to, to do, do. Yes. <laughs> as often as possible. So that number is pretty low. So that those main categories right there, those are account for 90% of our expenses month to month. And so with with that, so that you have a, a, an idea of, you know, what categories those are going to, we're now gonna break things down month by month, by month for May, June, and July. 
Uh, if the if this might sound confusing, we're you know the end of Q2. We actually started in February, so our first quarter is off by a month for the year. I don't know. We might, you're a numbers guy. It, I'm a numbers guy. It doesn't guy. matter to me. It's no. just our last three months. We but. might adjust at the end of the year <laughs> so that it aligns with the real quarters. But real quarters. He, work, he used to work at Ameriprise. And in so finance. So numbers, finances, all that stuff. Kind of a nerd about that. So <laughs> I love spreadsheets. I, I have a spreadsheet with all the numbers. So to, to break things down, so the month of May, we spent a total of $2,692. And that included uh, mainly uh, seven nights of free camping, four nights of paid camping, and then 21, or sorry, 20 nights of Thousand Trails camping. And that was actually the most we've ever done in a month using Thousand Trails. Yeah. And having that, uh, we do we include- a lot. Yeah. We do include our, we divvied up our yearly payment and spread it out monthly over the, you know, the next 12 months so that we do account for some of that expense for Thousand Trails in our camping costs. But uh, for that month, our rent cost is what we consider camping was only $193, which yeah. was our lowest the month lowest so far. ever. Yeah. So being within the system was really helpful. Um, fuel for that month was 488 and grocery do you want to say something about fuel? No, fuel was about <laughs> average a, a little bit more than we we typically have but it, pretty much an average number for us so right around 450 to four to five hundred dollars of where we've typically been yeah um and probably that was because with being in the thousand trail system that many days we were usually staying just four nights and then moving on to the next one so we were changing locations mm -hmm. a little more frequently which adds up with the fuel um groceries i can't see the numbers from here 473 <laughs> 473 on groceries and then eating out at restaurants was 379 dollars. and those numbers there are a little bit lower than we had in q1 mm -hmm. because we were in rachel's hometown right. and we, we stayed spent with my parents for a week a week at their yeah. house uh so we didn't we paid for groceries for some nights and then we ate out some nights but uh that that week of not really having to pay the full grocery bill actually reduces our overall bill for the month for that mm -hmm. uh, but then that month there we actually had an extremely high month for buying new clothes <laughs> yes we were by good shopping <laughs> good shopping place when we were in the cape cod area he stocked up on clothes which i don't think you i bought a new shirt <laughs> yeah shorts everything he hasn't done a lot of shopping his shirts were getting holes in them and it, it, was, it was time, time for new clothes time. the but girls also got some new stuff as well because they're growing kids that outgrow things quickly so that we spent three hundred dollars in clothing which we typically don't that's do that's not typical for us no, no. Uh, other highlights in there are our vehicle insurance and trailer insurance are again still 110 a month for those who are interested to know how much we might pay for that uh, and that's been consistent all along and then our phone bill went from a hundred dollars a month for our two unlimited lines on t-mobile to a hundred and twenty dollars per month we added a unlimited verizon hotspot that gives us unlimited data we've been using about 300 gigabytes gigabytes per month uh, with that but uh, there is some upfront cost for purchasing the line but then afterwards we're only paying an extra twenty dollars a month for unlimited data on that so uh, it is extremely affordable. If you guys have questions about that, feel free to leave me a comment below and I can try to put you in touch with the person that we, we purchased that from. Um, but then the other big expense that we had for the month of May uh, was vehicle maintenance. We had to spend around $300 to get the brakes replaced yes. on the trucks. Yeah, going into a Thousand Trails campground in New York. Um, not upstate New York, but Rondell Valley. That's the one we were going to. Um, we went the wrong way. We went the wrong way. We just followed Google blindly and didn't check flattestroute.com or in any of those things. We just went in and followed Google. Um, and it was steep down, up, up first. Up the mountain and then, and then straight down. down. The That's also when we barely cleared a bridge. Um, so we have since learned to take care of the route. But it totally shot our brakes. Um, the next day the brakes were squeaking. We're like, what's that noise what does that mean that meant our brake pads were just about gone so luckily there was a place close that we could yep. get in before we had to head out um, but yeah that was probably our biggest expense we've had since being on the road full-time um, we've had the tires and the axles changed but that was before we were full-time so moving Big on expense. to June uh, our monthly expenses go up 
$3,418. So we were in Canada um, in June, and so gas is very expensive in Canada. Um, and we ate out a lot because the food was amazing. Um, we did more entertainment that was paid than normal. We went to the aquarium, Ripley's Aquarium. Um, what else did we do? We spent Niagara, Niagara Falls. Falls. Um, so we just spent a lot more money yeah. altogether. We loved Toronto, but it was expensive. If you get a chance to go to Toronto, highly recommend yeah, it. It was worth it. But here's a breakdown of the camping nights. We had 12 nights of free camping for that month. Uh, 11 nights of paid camping, and then seven nights of Thousand Trails. So from here on out, actually our Thousand Trails numbers are going down because we're no longer in yeah, Thousand Trails Yeah, we're starting to get out of areas. Thousand Trails system. Yep. Um, so for the month of June, rent was $467. Um, and so that's, yeah, that's up from... Significantly. Significant, but just wait for next month. Um, and then fuel was at 687, which is the highest it's ever been. Yeah, um, highest it's ever been, but that's because we were in the Northeast, which is more yes. expensive, but then also going into Canada, yep. which was a lot more expensive. Right. And then groceries, though, were down um, because we were eating out. We groceries were, eating out. were down, the groceries were 395, but eating out was 579. Um, and that was our highest eating out. So amount of eating out. Also in June, we weren't just in Canada. We were also in Chicago, um, mm -hmm. and eating out in Chicago. Just eating out in Chicago. Just yeah, yeah we ate out a lot more. Um, so life and entertainment and expenses for that month were higher too. We went to the Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto. Yeah, we, we went those, to the yeah. Niagara Falls. We did other things in Chicago. So that was two hundred and ninety-two dollars, and that's our most expensive month for entertainment category. Yeah. Uh, and then let's see. Oh, parking and tolls were 120. And tolls. Yeah. Um, and I don't think we even received all of our Canadian toll paperwork yet. So that could. Yeah, our Canadian toll paperwork higher. hasn't come through yet. We haven't gotten the bill because no, they we... they send it to you in the mail, which is kind of nice. <laughs> but we haven't gotten that yet. Yeah. But in the Massachusetts area, we paid a lot of and New York tolls there. Yep, and New York. Um, so that's that. The, anything else you want to say about no, that? No, that takes okay. us to July. So moving on to July, the total was $3,226.08. So a little bit cheaper than the previous month, but still pretty close. Um, we um, only had two nights of free camping, um, and we did 21 nights of paid and nine in the Thousand Trail system. So again, we are getting out of the Thousand Trail system because there's there aren't any in the Midwest and kind of... Until we yep. get to the Pacific Northwest or Arizona area. It's just really dead spot in the middle. Um, and because we had 21 nights of paid camping, our monthly bill for camping went up to $864, yeah, so which is the highest, the highest it's been. Uh, we had a close month that was close to that back in March. That was $778. But this, this one beat it all out. And mm -hmm. it looks like August is going to be even higher. But we're going to, yeah, we'll talk about that later. But we're hitting some pretty high, high volume, highly, highly, what's what I'm looking for? People want to go to there. <laughs> so they raise their prices. I don't know. High demand. High demand. That's the one. So because for the month of July, we are mainly stationary in Minnesota. Our yeah. fuel costs were down. We only paid $347 in fuel. Mm -hmm. uh, groceries were a little bit higher. We did have an open house, had friends come over a couple nights uh, just to hang out with us because that's where we were originally from. Uh, so we had cookouts yeah, uh, a couple different nights. Us, so our grocery bill was a little bit higher. We also had four nights that we had people come and uh, stay in yeah, camp with us. With so us. Uh, the expenses for groceries were higher for that as well, six hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, and surprisingly, though, like restaurants were a little bit well, about average, eight hundred. Sorry, no, not three hundred eighty-six. <laughs> uh, that was mainly because we were individually going out with friends. I was going out with old co-workers. She was going no, out with my other friends. Yeah. It wasn't the whole family going out to eat every time. But that, that we're means doing we that. were going to nicer restaurants yes. that cost more money <laughs> than when we just go with. So our it kids. all evens out in the <laughs> yeah. end. Uh, and then the other big expense for the month. Um, we spent more on our dog than usual that month. We had to stock up on some food, 
um, but also the flea tick treatment. We went ahead and bought six months of that so that we're set with that. And we bought clippers for her. We normally have to find groomers as we travel um, and we can't always get in in the time frame that we're there. So we bought clippers and we took on cutting the hair ourselves. It turned out pretty good. Went one right. successful attempt. <laughs> one one attempt so far. So um, that should save in the us future, probably about 30 bucks a month. It's about month. 40. Well, but we don't do it every four yeah, weeks. that's or Every true. six weeks or so. Yeah, so it's so going to save us down the road. 30 bucks a month or so that we should save every month mm -hmm. with that. We also spent a little more than usual on clothes. Not as much as May when we spent 300 um, but we spent 148 which that time it was me. I lost weight, so I need new clothes that fit me, right? <laughs> Um, so <laughs> the, the expenses of losing weight, yeah. right? So, um, and with that, that, that wraps it up for those three months. Uh, just to give you an average, we spent an average of $3,112 for Q2. And that's compared to $2,536 for the first quarter. So it's about a 21% increase from Q1 to Q2. We, we weren't expecting to spend that much more money. Uh, we're still within our limits as to, you know, how much we can spend yeah. every month. But, you know, c camping in the south, south yeah, it was southeast in, you know, March and April, is significantly cheaper than the Northeast, mm -hmm. uh, and then also moving to the, to the Midwest uh, in peak peak months, and yep. that's that's what it's going to be. I mean, doing it during off season versus peak season, uh, you are going to save money. Uh, so just keep that in mind for whenever mm -hmm. you're trying to travel or the places that you're going to go. Mm -hmm. um, and did you want to say anything? I'm looking at the numbers of like, I, it's so hard for me to see. I feel like who is it? Oh, it's Ariana Grande. When she's on Jimmy Fallon, she's always squinting and she can't see the cue cards. That's what I feel like. Can't see the numbers. Okay. It's getting no. hot in here. I think that's why I'm delusional. Because we had to turn off the AC so that you could hear us. I think that's going to do it. <laughs> I think that's going to do it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about our budget and where our money goes and how much we're spending on different things, we're going to be putting together a full blog post with all of the details that you'll need and the link to that's going to be in this description below and we'll link it up here as Down well there, there. up here i think uh just so that you guys can have the details uh we know it's extremely helpful we mm -hmm. we scoured blog posts non-stop before we started this yeah. lifestyle especially just the budget stuff because yeah. we would say can we do this can we even afford to do it does it even make sense um so for you hopefully seeing actual numbers is helpful yeah and if you want to see what our q1 video was and the expenses uh we're going to link that in the description and you can check that out so if again if you have any questions for us please leave them in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel we're going to be doing quarterly budget updates for full-time rv living expenses on a regular basis so don't don't go anywhere else for those. Come come back to us <laughs> to, to us, see, see, see what our expenses see what are. Looks like. um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. We enjoy every single one of you who subscribe and leave us comments. We answer all of the comments that come in. She so does. I do. The she, she, she I haven't does. like looked at the comments in ages. She doesn't care. I do care. I do love you. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you on the road. <laughs>